first up, we have Furcorn. Furcorn is a beautiful singer, guys. I think he does his job well. He's not a lead singer, but he definitely has a good influence on the island. I would say that Furcorn is great. Next up, we have Bogart. Okay, for Cold Island, he has a pretty simple sound. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's just that same noise that loops the entire song. Okay, so while I think Bogart is amazing on other islands, on Cold Island, he doesn't do too much. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to throw him in eh. Next up, we have Dandito. <laughs> She does her thing, but she doesn't have a very pronounced role. So I think she's also gonna go in eh. I'm sorry. The Thumpies. The Thumpies are cool. They provide a solid drum sound. We can't hate too much on the drum sound of the island because the drum doesn't get that much recognition. It's kind of background noise, but it does impact the island. Um, I think the Thumpies are gonna go in mid. I feel like they don't get enough credit, so I think mid is fair. Next up, Grumpery, or however you say his name. Bum shaka la shaka. I was disappointed with him because I think he's our ethereal monster for the island. Wait, let me check real quick. Yeah, Grumpery is... Yeah, he's the ethereal monster for the island. Well, I was expecting a lot more from him at first. So again, guys, we're being kind of harsh, but I think Grumpery is in ass. I'm sorry. That's just what I think. Next up, we have Mammoth, the OG. You cannot not like Mammoth, guys. Mammoth is a legend. I think Mammoth goes in mid. That seems fair, right? Yeah, I would say in front of the Thumpies. Because even in the final versions of the song, you still always hear Mammoth. So we got to show the man some love. Next up, we have Talker. All right, Talker, let's hear those vocals. And yes, it can be lonely. It can be lonely. But hey, but hey, do what you will. Do what you will. Now, guys, I feel like the Wardos have an unfair advantage when it comes to doing a tier list because they sing. They get way more opportunity than what the other monsters get. So, I don't know. I mean, we, we are going based off sound, so I'm not going to be biased at all. I think Talker belongs in the front of great. Guys, beautiful is a level to where you just know. If a monster isn't beautiful, then we are all going to agree that they go in beautiful. It's not easy to get up there, but we should have someone up there by the end of the video. All right, next up, we have Magpie. Show me those vocals, shoddy. Is it cold outside? No. Nobody likes me, everyone's afraid of me, it's because I am weird. I'm actually curious to hear what you guys think. Do you guys prefer Magpie or Talker on this island? Leave it down in the comments below. I feel like they go hand in hand together, to be honest. Neither of them have a really good voice, in my opinion. I really don't think that either of them are beautiful. So I think it's fair to just put her right beside him. Ed Gray. That seems reasonable. Alright, next up we have Pango. You can always count on Pango to bring a nice peck sound to the island. Again, they don't really give him much to do on this island. So it's kind of hard for him to shine. So again, I think we have another eh monster. Cold Island is sort of a underwhelming island, you could say. I know a lot of people might hate me for saying that. But it's just they don't do too... You know, it's kind of a slow-paced song. I can appreciate Cold Island for what it is. We just don't really have many monsters that are standing out over the other ones. Next up, we have Strombonin. <laughs> I love how he ends his trumpet session. He ends it so like, bah! what do you guys think about Strombonin? I think Strombonin's really good. I think he's my favorite monster that we've heard on this list so far. And I'm trying to see compared to these people, I think Strombonin might low key be the best monster on the island. I think for that reason, it's fair to put him at beautiful. Quibble. Quibble is pretty fire, guys. I can't lie. I remember when I first got on this island, Quibble was one of my favorite monsters. The way she just plays that piano, like, they do it right. I think Quibble should go, like, somewhere in the midst of great. Maybe in front of Furcorn, but behind the Wordos. What do y'all think about that placement?
We have to be fair, guys. We're putting them on a ranking list. So, Kongle, just because of his lack of sound that he makes, I have to put him in trash, guys. Do I think Kongle is trash overall? No. But on this island, he barely does anything. I cannot put him on the same level as Bogart when he doesn't do anything. But we're gonna go with trash. Bow. 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 I mean, Potbelly serves his role. He doesn't do much, guys. We're being honest, guys. We are being completely honest on this tier list. Potbelly, get the fudge in trash, you loser. Mother <laughs> Alright guys, I got too excited. We have another eh, monster, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest. Octopus doesn't do much on this island, guys. I think it's fair to put him like behind Pango, but in front of Dandito. I think that's reasonable. Now we have the Dipsters. Okay, let me unmute all of them, and then we can judge their sound. <laughs> No, for real though, the dipsters barely ever miss. I think the dipsters can go in great, honestly, like in front of Quibble. I think that's like pretty solid. The dipsters kind of carry Cold Island, guys. Might not think about it, but they add a lot of noise to the island. Do, do, do. Another just underwhelming sound, guys. Like if we're being honest, Cold Island is kind of... Kind of an L. Toe Jammer has to go in trash, guys. He literally says, no. There's no way I can put him above anyone else. <laughs> guys, yet again, another underwhelming monster. Sorry, I know I sound like a Cold Island just hater right now, but that's not the case. I try to appreciate every island for what it's worth, but Cold Island is just giving me more and more reasons to rank it a lower tier island. Ma is amazing on other islands, but on this island in particular, she doesn't really do anything. Ma goes in trash too. Ma is in trash as well. There we go. Now we're hearing something. Okay, Tweedle is solid. She makes a good rhythm. She has a nice tone to her voice. It really directs the island a lot. So I think Tweedle goes in great, guys. Ah, Yeah. Deej has this nice, like, DJ-esque vibe to him. Really hip-hop-y and upbeat. Mm. Yeah. I think Deej goes, like, right up here in front of Tweedle. What do you guys think about that? I think that's pretty fair. Oh, I love that whistle. Sponge's whistle, something about it. I just be randomly whistling that tune in my head. Like I'm outside eating food or something and I just be thinking. <laughs> I think Sponge goes ah, in the in the front of mid, in front of Noggin. The whistle is great. I think the whistle sounds beautiful, but it is just a whistle at the end of the day. So to rank it above these high level monsters wouldn't be fair. I do not have the following four monsters, so I don't know what they sound like. So ranking them wouldn't be fair. But yeah, let me know if you guys agree with my tier list, if you disagree with where any of the monsters are in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click this video on the screen and watch me again.